And it's official now, The Flash Season 9 has been confirmed by CW. That's right guys, our favorite show will be renewed for another season. We first saw the Super Speed Hero in 2014 and it all started there. Even though we all assume that the creators are trying to say goodbye at the end of Season 8, it seems like we'll go back to Central City sooner than we thought. The Flash Season 8 Recap Humanity's fate was at stake once again, and in Season 8 we saw maybe the most emotional Flash episodes ever. Armageddon was much more than the fans expected it to be. The Flash team had to save the world from the alien threat that comes to the planet under suspicious occurrences. After stopping the Godspeed War in Season 7, Barry and West Allen reached their highest point, but he had to jump in once again to save Central City from Despiro's threat. Hopper. The Fire Next Time is the name of the last episode, and we could say that this might be the best one since the beginning. Even though there was a side story that doesn't fit in the picture entirely, we can agree that the season finale had it all. This episode was mainly about the relationship between Barry and his father Henry, who spent a long time in prison for a crime he never committed. Through the frame job, Barry saw that his father was convicted for killing his mother, even though he didn't. Everybody thought that the murder investigation would be the main part of the season finale, but it seems like the creators had something else on their minds. The Scarlet Speedster always felt that he had a home to go, however, when a bad guy from his past came back up to the surface, more dangerous than last time, Barry had to master new abilities he didn't know were possible, especially when a strong enemy threatens to destroy everything. Flash! Now you'll feel the real power of speed! Eric Wallace is not playing around with this graphic novel. He did say that it would be darker and kind of have that season 2 to 3 ish tone, and this generally felt like a season 2. The final episode was very personal to Barry, which really pushed him to pretty much do everything in his power to save Jacob, who returned back from season 4 and was accused of a murder committed by someone with fire meta abilities like he has. And while everyone in the CCPD and others outside of it as well were ready to lock him up and throw away the key for his crime, Barry believed in Jacob and went above and beyond to prove his innocence, which was a success. However, though Barry saved Jacob from probably a life sentence in Iron Heights, the real killer was not found. This of course brought Team Flash into action as they have a serial killer on the loose and outside of the two people that were murdered being employees of the same bar, there weren't really any leads as to who could possibly be. There was a nice balance with every character having something to do and the involvement of the entire Flash team as well. You need to believe it. Release date. DC's beloved speedster is not done yet. The Flash has been renewed for yet another season. The official release date is not announced so far, but rumors are saying that we can expect it at the beginning of 2023. It's very possible to arrive on Amazon Prime as the first season. The Flash has been one of the CW's most popular shows in the last 10 years. The landscape of superhero shows has been changed forever after this. Talking about the renewals of the CW network, Mark Pitowitz said that they're preparing for the 2022 to 2023 season and these scripted series will serve as the start of a solid foundation. These dramas are also important to our overall digital strategy as they're some of our most streamed and socially engaging program. And we look forward to adding more new and returning series to help strengthen and expand our multi-platform footprint, said Mark. We all know that Grant Gustin signed a contract with the talent agency ICM for representation, but it seems like we'll see this gut in the red suit again. Even sooner than we thought. Okay. Cast. So most of the actors from the previous seasons don't have a contract with the network anymore, and we know that sometimes the negotiations for the new contracts can be really difficult and problematic. There are the most delicate and risky issues that the network will be facing. Some actors like Jesse Martin, Candace Patton, and Daniel Panabaker renew their contracts for season 8, and that gives us hope that they can do that again. But there's one problem, we need to have the same flash. Grant Gustin's contract is not valid anymore, the actor had a contract for only 8 seasons, so let's wait until we find out if the most important characters are coming back. Robert Stein, Gustin's manager, said that they are in negotiations with the studio on Grant returning to The Flash for season 9. Conversations are continuing in a positive way, but nothing conclusive yet. Said Stan, even Grant himself, had a statement about the negotiations that gives us a lot of optimism. Listen, I may never have a job this cool again, that many people actually tune in to watch, so I'm not going to take it for granted. 
Flash. You can't stop me, Flash. The green light for another season is on the table, the actors are willing to continue the show, and the fans can't wait to see the next adventure. The Flash Season 9 First Look The world saw Flash for the first time in 1940, since then, six movies and TV series have been released to the public. And Speedster also appeared in three other projects as a side character. Interestingly, Flash is one of the most popular superhero characters of all time. Okay, back in the first season, Barry Allen will get the superpowers after the mysterious explosion. Not knowing what to do next, he's asking for help from a team of specialists, so Star Labs will take care of him and they'll help him become a superhero. But Barry wasn't the only one who was transformed by the fateful explosion. Therefore, many other metahumans were trying to seize power. However, the main enemy is Reverse Flash who killed Barry's mom, and he's giving his best to kill the Red Suit Speedster as well. What would be the scenario for Season 9? We don't know yet, we just hope that we'll see more of Barry's CSI skills, and hope that we'll see the same crew fighting the evil metahumans together. Always have to make an entrance, don't you, Kid Flash? Found out I have a son. Plot details. The Flash is officially the longest-running CW show of all time. The reputation that CW got in the past decade was made with a series called The Arrowverse. This world began with Arrow in 2012, but The Flash is definitely the most popular show on the network. The first two seasons were unsurpassed, and that might be the reason why the show got so popular. The rumors about the show ending were so loud because of what happened in the other CW series. Nobody knew if Gustin would devote to another season. These rumors came to light since Stephen Amell decided to leave Arrow. The show was cancelled after 8 seasons, and the situation was very similar to the one we're talking about. We all thought that season 8 would be the last one, but the ninth season is certainly on the agenda. The season is still in its initial stages, and the filming may not begin until July 2022. Gustin will sign a contract for one year only, but even though nothing is certain yet, the ninth season might not be the last one. You're probably wondering where the actual place of the filming would be. Well, again, it'll be British Columbia and Canada. More specifically, Vancouver. This is the one city that the fans are very familiar with, Thanks to this show. What? Nothing. I just know she don't smile too much. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the previous season? Which characters would you like to see in the next season? What are your expectations and what are your theories? If you like the video, like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.